What's well, shining, Kaka? Everybody, today is a great day, and I—you can tell I've been working. I mean, you look at me—I'm like all messed up, man. Um, I've been working on my '67, and I'm gonna tell y'all what happened to her. You can see all the tools and everything that I'm using. Yeah, you know what that is? Tap and die, baby. Tap and die. Um, and you can see where I'm, I've been tapping and dying right here. And what happened is, I, I got up this morning. And uh, I saw some water on the top. That same water you see right there, that was on the top. So that tells me that either my housing wasn't down tight enough. So I had to fix that. So I put a wrench on it to actually bolt it down. And that nut decided that it didn't want to do right. Right there. And that's what happened, look at that. That's a fresh break. So then I started drilling. That's what we do when we got 67 Oldsmobiles. We dr I drilled to get the nut out um, and it wouldn't back out. Even with the, with the tool to back it out, it wouldn't back out. So I just carried it all the way through. Now, uh, the craziest thing is, crazy thing is I was thinking wow if I take it all the way through then that nuts gonna fall inside that chamber and I'm gonna be in a Lulu lot of trouble look Lulu lot of trouble so what I did was not even thinking because I had the I had the holes the hole of the of the water um of the thermostat I had that plugged up you know with the rag so no no grit to get in there I panicked. I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna have to take the whole intake off because that bolt fell down inside of that motor. Then I took my time. I calmed down and I went shada ka ka. Shada ka ka. And then all of a sudden everything opened up. <laughs> it's like, dude, just take the rag out and take one of these. You know what that is? That is a magnet. And just take the magnet and go inside of your hole. Duh, did that and started pulling all kind of metals out because you know you don't want metal going inside that hole. And so what I did was I just kept them right now for the next 10 minutes. That's all I'm gonna be doing, sticking a magnet in there so so I can get all that metal so it won't go down into my pistons, scratch my pistons, jack out the motor. Um, so all I'm doing right now is just taking that magnet all up in there as far as I can get it. You know. Cause you know, I think that that antifreeze will make that stuff travel, but I don't want it to travel. I wanted to get it off. And you can see, look, see that? See that metal on the end? See it right there? I gotta keep doing that until I get it all out. But if you got an old car, that's what you do. You know, when, when you got old stuff, you have to keep working on it. But anyway, it's still a great day. And then after I finish this, I have to go back to the Hobo Depot and, and I have another project in the backyard I'm working on. But y'all will see that in about another two weeks. Shada Kaka! Shada Kaka! 1967 Oldsmobile. Cutlass. Pice. Unite. Unity.